تعالى and glory to the all holy trinity the father the son and the holy spirit peace and edification to the only one holy catholic and apostolic church of god amen remember O lord those who have brought to you these gifts those on whose behalf they have been brought and those by whom they have been brought give them all the heavenly reward Blessed be his only begotten Son, Jesus Christ, our Lord. Blessed be the Holy Spirit, the Paraclete. Amen. One is the Holy Father, one is the Holy Son, one is the Holy Spirit. Amen. Blessed be the Lord God forever. Amen. Praise the Lord, all you nations. Praise him, all you peoples, for his mercy has been confirmed upon us, and the truth of the Lord endures forever. Amen. Alleluia. Hail, 
Let us give thanks to the beneficent and merciful God, the Father of our Lord, God and Savior, Jesus Christ, for he has covered us, helped us, guarded us, accepted us, themselves, spared us, supported us, and have brought us to this hour. Let us also ask him, the Almighty Lord, and God to Bandukratur, to guard us in all peace this holy day and all the days of our life. Pray. Oh, Master Lord God, the Bandukratur, the Father of our Lord God and Savior Jesus Christ, we thank you for everything concerning everything and in everything. For you have covered us, helped us, guarded us, accepted us unto yourself, spared us, supported us, and have brought us to this hour. Pray that God may have mercy and compassion on us, hear us, help us, and accept the supplications and prayers of his saints for that which is good on our behalf at all, all times, and to keep the life and standing of our honored Father, the Patriarch, Pope Abba Tawadrus II, and our fathers, their eminences, Archbishop Kajak Parsemian, and his eminence, Archbishop Tito Sialdo, his Eminence Archbishop Silvano Seyou, Archbishop, His Eminence Archbishop Dionysius John Kawak, and our fathers, the bishops of David and Avakaras, and make us worthy to partake of the communion of His holy and blessed mysteries for the remission of our sins. Therefore, we ask and entreat your goodness, O lover of mankind, grant us to complete this holy day and all the days of our life in all peace with your fear, all envy, all temptation, all the work of Satan, the counsel of wicked men and the rising up of enemies hidden and manifest. Take them away from us and from all your people and from this table and from this your holy place. But those things which are good and profitable do provide for us, for it is you who have given us the authority to tread on serpents and scorpions and upon all the power of the enemy. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from the evil one through the grace, compassion, and love of mankind, of your only begotten Son, our Lord God and Savior, Jesus Christ, this is he to whom the glory, the dominion, the power, and the worship are due unto him and to you, the Holy Spirit, the giver of life, who is co-essential with you now and at all times and unto the age of ages. Amen.
servants, ministers of this day, the archbishops, the bishops, the hegemons, the priests, the deacons, the clergy, and all the people, and my witness be absolved from the mouth of the all holy trinity, the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit, and from the mouth of the one only holy Catholic and apostolic church, and from the mouths of the twelve apostles, and from the mouth of the beholder of God, the evangelist Mark, the holy apostle and the martyr, the patriarch Saint Severus, our teacher Dioscorus, Saint Athanasius the apostolic, Saint Peter the holy martyr and the high priest, Saint John Chrysostom, Saint Cyril, Saint Basil, and Saint Gregory, and from the mouths of the 318 assembled at Nicaea, and the 150 at Constantinople, and the 200 at Ephesus, and from the mouth of our honored father, the high priest Abba Tavadros, and his spiritual brethren, the patriarch of the Antioch, Mor Ignatius Abraham II, and the patriarch of Ethiopia, Abuna Matthias, and the Catholicos of all Armenia, Bakarekin II, and the Patriarch of Eritrean, Abunatonosius, and their partners in this apostolic liturgy, our fathers, Archbishop Mor Dionysius, Archbishop Mor Titus Yeldo, Archbishop Mor Silvanos, and our fathers, the bishops, Abba David and Abba Karas, and from the mayor, my own mouth being the least, for the blessed and full of glory is your holy name, O Father, and the Son, and the Holy Spirit, now and all, all times, and unto the ages of ages. Amen.
A reading from the epistle of our teacher Paul to Ephesians. May his blessings be upon us. Amen. And he himself gave some to be apostles, some prophets, some evangelists, and some pastors and teachers for the equipping of the saints for the work of the ministry, for the edifying of the body of Christ, until we all come to the unity of the faith and of the knowledge of the Son of God, to a perfect man, to the measure of the stature of fullness of Christ, that we should no longer be children, tossed to and for, and carried about with every wind of doctrine, but the trickery of men, by the trickery of men, in the cunning craftness of deceitful plotting, but speaking the truth of in love, may grow up in all things in him who is the head, Christ, from whom the whole body, joined and knit together by what every joint supplies, according to the effective working by which every part does its share, causes growth of the body for the edifying of itself in love. This I say, therefore, and testify in the Lord, that you should no longer walk as the rest of the Gentiles walk, in the fullity of their mind, having their understanding darkened, being alienated from the life of God, because of the ignorance that is in them, because of the blindness of their heart, who, being past feeling, have given themselves over to lewdness, to work all uncleanliness with greediness. The grace of God the Father be with you all. Amen. Reading, <clears throat> a reading from the first epistle of our teacher Peter. May his blessings be with us. Amen. Blessed be God, the Father of our Lord Jesus Christos, who according to his abundant mercy has begotten us again to a living hope through the resurrection of Jesus Christos from the dead to his inheritance in incorruptible and undefiled, and that does not fade away reserved in heaven for you who are kept by the power of God through faith for salvation, ready to fulfill, reveal in the last time, in this you greatly rejoice. Though now for a little while, if need be, you have been grieved by various trials, that the genuineness of your faith, being much more precious than gold than, that perishes, though it is tested by fire, may be found to praise, honor, and glory at the revelation of Jesus Christ who having not seen you, love. Though now you do not see him, you believing, you rejoice with a joy inexpressible and full of glory, receiving the end of your faith, the salvation of your souls. Of this salvation the prophets have inquired and searched carefully, 
who prophesied of the grace that would come to you, searching what or what manner of time. The Spirit of Christ who was in them was indicating when he testified before, beforehand the sufferings of Christ and the glories that would follow. To them it was revealed that not to themselves, but to us, they were ministering the things which now have been reported to you. Though those who have preached the gospel to you by the Holy Spirit sent from heaven, these things which angels desire to look into. Amen. Do not love the world or things that are in the world. The world passes to win the lust of all for all is passing. Amen. <laughs> Of, the, of our fathers, the pure apostles, who were invested with the grace of the Holy Spirit. May their blessing be upon us all. Amen. And through the hands of the apostles, many signs and wonders were done among the people, and they were all with one accord in Solomon's porch. Yet none of the rest dared join them, but the people esteemed them highly. And believers were increasingly added to the Lord, multitudes of both men and women, so that they brought the sick out into the streets and laid them on beds and couches, 
that at least the shadow of Peter passing by might fall on some of them. Also, a multitude gathered from the surrounding cities to Jerusalem, bringing sick people and those who were tormented by unclean spirits, and they were all healed. Then the high priest rose up, and all those who were with him, which is the sect of the Sadducees, and they were filled with indignation and laid their hands on the apostles and put them in the common prison. The word of the Lord shall grow, multiply, be mighty, and be confirmed in the holy church of God. Amen. Today is the twelfth day of the blessed month of Baba. May God begin it in goodness and renew it for us in peace and tranquility, while our sins and iniquities are forgiven through the tender mercies of our Lord, our fathers, and oh my, my, Amen. On this twelfth day of each month, if every Coptic month to the twelfth day we celebrate the commemoration of the Honorable Archangel Michael, the head of the heavenly host, who stands at all times before the throne of the divine majesty on behalf of the human race. His intercession be with us all, amen. On this day also, St. Matthew the evangelist was martyred. He was one of the 12 disciples. On this day also of the year 224 AD, the pure and celibate father of Demetrius I, the twelfth Pope of Alexandria departed. The blessings of his prayers be with us all, and glory be to God forever and ever. Amen. Sur pasta, sur bieve, sur, sur bieve. Irene 
Lord Jesus Christ, our God, who said to his saintly honored disciples and holy apostles, many prophets and righteous men have desired to see the things which we have seen, and have not seen them, and to hear the things which you hear, and have not heard them. But as for you, blessed are your eyes, for they see and your ears, for they hear. May we be worthy to hear and to act according to your holy gospel through the prayers of your saints. Remember also our Master, all those who have bidden us to remember them in our supplications and the prayers which we are offered up unto you, O Lord our God. Those who have already fallen asleep, repose them. Those who are sick, heal them. For you are the life of us all the salvation of us all, the hope of us all, the healing of us all, and the resurrection of us all. Sound must turn the video, hallelujah. Manon shas khane teik ni seyyan te beflaos.
was the company of those who proclaimed the kings of armies flee they flee and she who remains at home divides the spoil in the name of the Lord, our Lord, our God, our Savior, and the King of us all, Jesus Christ, the Son of the living God, to whom be all the glory forever. From the Holy Gospel according to St. Luke, may his blessings be with us all. Amen. After these things, he went out and saw a tax collector named Levi sitting at the tax office, and he said to him, Follow me. So he left all, rose up, and followed him. Then Levi gave him a great feast in his own house, and there were a great number of tax collectors and others who sat down with them. And their scribes and the Pharisees again complained against his disciples, saying, Why do you eat and drink with tax collectors and sinners? Jesus answered and said to them, Those who are well have no need of a physician, but those who are sick. I have not come to call the righteous, but sinners to repent. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit, one God, Amen. We are so grateful to God for the blessing of this day. It certainly is a blessed day and a wonderful opportunity. As it says in the Psalms, how lovely it is for brothers to be together. We all look forward to this concelebrated liturgy from year to year. It is a very special occasion in which we all come together as churches, 
sharing the same faith, to celebrate the Holy Eucharist and partake of the Holy Body and the precious blood of our Lord. And we alternate every church celebrates the liturgy on one, in one of the respective churches. And this year, it happened to be in one of the Coptic churches, and that's why we're having it in this church this year. But every year we have it in a, another church, and we alternate because this way we feel our unity solidarity and love. And this is what I would like to talk to you today about. U-S-A, unity, solidarity, agape, which means love. U-S-A can stand for many other things, but unity, solidarity, and agape, which means love. Let's first talk about unity. We share unity with all humans because God created us all. And as it says in the book of Acts, chapter 17, verse 26. And he has made from one blood every nation of men to dwell on all the face of the earth. God has made from one blood every nation of men. And that's why if you need some blood, if you are in the hospital and you need blood, it doesn't make a difference where this blood comes from. It could be from any human being, as long as it matches your blood type, you can receive blood from any human being. So we share some level of unity with all humans. But we also share the faith the Christian faith in general with those who proclaim to be Christians who confess Jesus as the Son of God and who can recite the Nicene Constantinopolitan Creed in their churches. But the innermost circle is the Orthodox churches with whom we share the faith and we are able to partake from the Holy One table of the Eucharist, which is the body and the blood. And this is the deepest manifestation of our unity. Our unity is not to come together and take a picture or say we love each other. The real meaning of unity is when we can partake from the one table, from the Holy Eucharist together. It is the unity of faith and it is the unity of the Eucharist. And this is what we look forward to. We share the same faith with our sister churches that we celebrate with today. This faith which we treasure, this faith is the orthodox faith that was kept to us through the blood of the martyrs that still shed their blood until this very day in many places. This unity that's manifested in our prayer together about which it was written in the Didache which is the first known church manual from the first century of Christianity, in which the celebrant would say in the prayer, even as this broken bread was scattered over the hills, 
and was gathered together and become one. So let your church be gathered together from the ends of the earth into your kingdom. For yours is the glory and the power through Jesus Christ forever. This bread and this cup which we bless that no one can partake from except those who are baptized and share the same faith with us. And this is what we do today. The second reason we are together today is to show our solidarity and support. The Middle East in the present time is in a huge turmoil and we hear news every day. And that's why we need to be together over time to show our solidarity and our support. We need this. Our people need this. When the trial becomes hard, the support is much needed. And that's why we come together as sister churches to pray together and give support and give hope to the people that the suffering is only on this earth but the glory will be in the time to come. We hear about so many things that are happening now in the Middle East and these are our people our mothers, our fathers, brothers, sisters, sons and daughters. These are part of us. And if a member suffers, we all suffer with it. And that's why we come together to pray. We keep hearing a lot of news, such as in Syria, for example, especially in Aleppo, and many other places. Our people are really suffering. We just celebrated the 100th anniversary of the Armenian Genocide. And we went to Washington to uh, commemorate with His Holiness Catholicos Karakin II, who came to the United States, especially for this occasion. And by the way, he's coming next month to officially open and consecrate the new Armenian seminary, St. Nurse's Seminary, next month, and we'll be part of this as well, this celebration, because we come together in difficult situations and in also joyful occasions. We come together. In the uh, martyrdom of the 21 martyrs of Libya, we came together and our brothers came and shared with us during this painful time and gave a lot of solidarity and support to us. So number one, we come together in unity, we come together in solidarity, but also we come together in love, agape. This love that we share together and we have tremendous love for one another and we always look forward to meeting with one another. We have many meetings throughout the year. This is not the only time we meet. We meet many times as sister churches. We discuss many pastoral issues and how we can collaborate together and we have many uh, not only meetings, but also youth uh, occasions where we, you, our youth come together, etc. And we treasure this love very much because it's so lovely for brothers to be together. This love we share because we share the pain together throughout our history for many centuries and we understand each other and we have kept together the Orthodox faith 
And that's why when we come together, we have something in common. We feel this love. Therefore, today, we enjoy this very special liturgy, and we always look forward to it, because it strengthens and manifests our unity, our solidarity, and our agape, our love for one another. I want to introduce the hierarchs who are present with us today so that you all know them and I'm sure that we have amongst the uh, congregation today many from every church. His Eminence Archbishop Khajak Barsamian, the primate of the Armenian Orthodox Church of North America. His Eminence Archbishop Titus Yaldo, the Archbishop of the Malankara Archdiocese of Syrian Orthodox Church in North America. His Eminence Archbishop Silvanus Ayub, the Archbishop of the Canania Archdiocese of North America and Europe. His Eminence Archbishop Dionysius John Kawak the Archbishop of the Syrian Orthodox Church in Eastern United States. His Grace Bishop Karaz, the General Bishop of the Coptic Church here in North America and the Papal Exarch of His Holiness Pope Tawadros. We are very joyful to have their eminences and His Grace with us and we want to let them know that this is their church. We love you all. God bless you. May the love, unity, and solidarity always continue and remain forever. And glory be to our God forever. Pray for the peace of the one only Catholic and Apostolic Orthodox Church of God. Lord, have mercy. 
that which exists from one end to of the world to the other, all peoples and all flocks, let the heavenly peace send down into all our hearts. Even the peace of this life graciously grant to us. The king, leader, the army, the ruler, the counselors, the multitudes, our neighbors, our coming in and our coming out the door. your peace for you have given us all, all things acquire us to yourself O God our Savior for we know none other but you your holy name we utter may our souls live by your holy spirit and let not the death of sins have dominion, uh, dominion over us. We, your servant, nor over your people. Says God the Pantocrator, the Father of our Lord, God and Savior, Jesus Christ, we ask and entreat your goodness, O lover of mankind. Remember, O Lord, our honored patriarch and father, the high priest Baba Abba Tawadrus II and his spiritual brethren, the Patriarch of Antioch, Mor Ignatius Ephraim II, the Patriarch of Ethiopia, Abuna Matthias, the Catholicos of Armenia, Lord Karakin II, the Patriarch of Eritrea, Abun Antonius, and their partners in the Apostolic Liturgy, our fathers, the Archbishop Khajak Barsamian, Archbishop Mor Dionysius, Archbishop Mor Titus Yeldo, Archbishop Mor Salvanus, and our fathers, the Bishop Amba David and Ava Akaras. Pray for our High Priest, O Baba Tawadros the Second, Pope and Patriarch and Archbishop of the Great City of Alexandria, and his spiritual brethren, the Patriarch of Antioch, Mor Ignatius Avram II, and the Patriarch of Ethiopia, Buna Matthias, and the, Pat and the Catholicos of Armenia, of Akarekin II, and the Patriarch of Eritrea, Abun Antonius, and their partners in the Apostolic Liturgy, our Father, the Archbishop Khajak Barsamian, and our father, the Archbishop Mordianisius Jinkawak, and our father, the Archbishop Mortitos Yeldho, and our father, the Archbishop Morsilvanus Yayub, and our fathers, the bishops of David and of Akaros, and for our Orthodox bishops. Lord have mercy. Keep them secure for us for many years in peaceful times, fulfilling that holy high priesthood with which you have entrusted them to yourself, according to your holy and blessed will, rightly handling the word of truth, shepherding your people in purity and righteousness, and all the Orthodox bishops, hegumens, priests, deacons, and the fullness of your one only holy Catholic and apostolic church. Grant them, uh, grant them and us peace and safety in every place, the prayer which they offer on our behalf. Yeah. Oh, 
your people. As well as our prayers on their behalf, receive them upon your holy rational altar in heaven as a sweet savor of incense. All their enemies, visible and invisible, trample in humility under their feet speedily. As for them, keep this and keep them in peace and righteousness in, in your holy church. Lord have mercy. Again, let us ask God the Pantocrat, or the Father of our Lord God and Savior, Jesus Christ. We ask and treat your goodness, O lover of mankind. Remember, O Lord, our assemblies. Bless them. Pray for this holy church and for our assemblies. Lord, have mercy. Grant that they may be without obstacle or hindrance that we may hold them according to your holy and blessed will. Houses of prayer, houses of purity, houses of blessing, grant them to us, O Lord, and to your servants who will come after us forever. The worship of idols utterly uprooted from the world, Satan and all his evil powers, trembling and humiliate them under our feet speedily. The offense of their interstigger blolish, let the descendant of corrupt heresies kiss the enemies of your holy church, your O Lord, at all times now and also emulate. Stirb their vanity, show them their weakness, speedily bring not their envy, their interest, and these their wickedness and their slanders which they commit against us, O Lord, bring them all to no evil. Dispraise their counsel, O God, who dispraise the counsel of Achitophel. Lord, have mercy. Praise, O Lord, God, o, tell all, let your enemies be scattered, and let who hate your holy name flee before your face. But your people, let your people to be blessing, thousand of thousand, ten, ten thousand times, ten thousand, doing your will. In wisdom of God, let us attend. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. Truly, amen. We believe in one God, God the Father, the Pantocrator, creator of heaven and earth, and all things seen and unseen. We believe in one Lord, Jesus Christ, the only begotten Son of God, begotten of the Father before all ages, light of light, true God of true God, begotten, not created, or essential with the Father, by whom all things are made, who for us men and for our salvation came down from heaven and was incarnated in the Holy Spirit and of the Virgin Mary and became man. And he was crucified for us under Pontius Pilate, suffered and was buried on the third day he rose from the dead, according to the scriptures, ascended into the heavens, he sits at the right hand of his Father, and he's come again in his glory to us and the dead, whose kingdom shall have no end. He has to believe in the Holy Spirit, the Lord, the life giver, proceeds from the Father, with the Father and the Son is worshiped and glorified, who is loved by the prophets, and in one holy kind of his thought of church, we confess him by the permission of sin. We look for the resurrection of the dead and the light of the coming age. Amen. Ten Let us pray. Stand up for prayer. Peace be with all. And with your spirit. spirit. O God, the great 
the Eternal, who for men in incorruption and death, which entered into the world through the envy of the devil, you have destroyed by the life-giving manifestation of your only begotten Son, our Lord God and Savior Jesus Christ. You have filled the earth with the heavenly peace by which the host of the angels glorify you, saying, Glory to God in the highest, peace on earth, and goodwill towards men. Pray for perfect peace, love, and the holy apostolic greetings. Lord, According to your good will, O God, fill our hearts with your peace. Cleanse us from all blemish, all guilt, all hypocrisy and craftiness, and the remembrance of your vice bearing that. And make us all worthy, O our Master, to greet one another with the holy kiss that without casting us into condemnation we may partake of your immortal and heavenly gift in Christ Jesus our Lord holy kiss Lord have mercy Lord have mercy Lord have mercy Yes, Lord, was Jesus Christ, the Son of God, hear us and have mercy upon us, offer an order, stand with trembling, look towards the east, let us ascend. Through the intercessions of the Theotokos, St. Mary, O Lord, grant us the forgiveness of our sins. We worship you. O Christ, with your good Father and the Holy Spirit for you have come and saved us. A mercy of peace, a sacrifice. Lord be with you all. And with your spirit. Lift up your hearts. We have them with the Lord. Let us give the It is me done right, O oh, you the being, Master, Lord, God of truth, being before the ages and reigning of forever, who dwells in the highest and looks upon the lowly, who has created the heaven and earth, the sea, and all that is in therein, the Father of our Lord, God and Savior Jesus Christ by whom you have created all things, visible and invisible, who is seated upon the throne of his glory, and who is worshipped by all the holy powers. You who are seated, stand. Before whom stand the angels, the archangels, the principalities, the authorities, the thrones, the dominions, and the powers. 
Jesus and look towards the east. You are the one around whom stand the cherubim full of eyes and the seraphim with six wings, praising continuously without saying, ceasing and saying, Let us attend. Disobeyed your commandments by the deceit of the serpent. We fell from the eternal life and were exiled from the paradise of joy. You have not abandoned us to the end, but have always visited us. Through your holy prophets, and in the last days, you manifested yourselves to us, who are sitting in the darkness and the shadow of death, through your holy our Lord. God and our Savior, Jesus Christ, who of the Holy Spirit and of the Holy Virgin Mary, and become man and taught us the way of salvation. He granted us the birth from on high. Through water and spirit, He made us unto Himself and Sold on account of our sin, he descended into hell through the cross. Amen. I believe. the third
ascended into the heavens and sat at your right hand, O Father. He has appointed a day for recompense on which he will appear to judge the world in righteousness and give each one according to his deeds. According to your mercy, O Lord, and not according to and gave it to his own holy disciples and saintly apostles, saying, Take eat of it, all of you, for this is my body, which is broken for you and for many, to be given for the remission of sins. This do in remembrance of me. the cup after supper he mixed it of wine and water and when he had given thanks he blessed it and he sanctified it Uh... 
and gave it also to his own holy disciples and saintly apostles saying take drink of it all of you for this is my blood of the new covenant which is shed for you and for many to be given for the remission of sins this do in remembrance of me. This is also true. Amen. Amen. Eriten er omologin en ta anastasis, eriten iri en pame. Ten 
shamshi emog ten osh emog oh 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 let us attend And the wife and so my Given for the remission of sins and eternal light to those who partake of it. Amen, Lord, have mercy, Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. Make us all worthy, our Master, to partake of your holies unto the purifications of our souls, our bodies, and our spirits, that we may become one body and one spirit, and may have a share and inheritance with all the saints who have pleased you since the beginning. Remember, O oh Lord, the peace of your one, only holy Catholic and apostolic church. Pray for the peace of the one, only Catholic and apostolic Orthodox Church of God. This which you have acquired to yourself with the precious blood of your Christ, keep her in peace with all the Orthodox bishops who are in her. For most, remember, O Lord, our blessed and honored Father, the Archbishop, our Patriarch, Pope Abba, Tawadros Zasakan, and his spiritual brethren, the Patriarch of Antioch, Mor Ignatius Ephraim II, and the Patriarch of Ethiopia, Abuna Matthias, and the Catholicos of Armenia, Abba Karakin II, and the Patriarch of Eritrea, Abuna Antonios, and their partners in the Apostolic Liturgy, our fathers, Archbishop Khazak Parsamian, Archbishop Mor Dionysius, Archbishop Mor Titildahu, Archbishop Mor Silvanos, and our fathers, the bishops, Amba David and Amba Karas. Pray for our high priest, Pope Avatawadros II, Pope and Patriarch and Archbishop of the great city of Alexandria, and his spiritual brethren, the Patriarch of Antioch, Mor Ignatius Avram II, and the Patriarch of Ethiopia, Abuna Matthias, and the Catholicos of Armenia, Ava Kerekin II, and the Patriarch of Eritrea, Abu Antonios, and their partners in the apostolic ministry, our father, Archbishop Khajak Barsamian, and our father, Mor Dionysios Jean Kawak, and our father, the Archbishop Mor Titus Yeldho, and our father, the Archbishop Mor Silvanus Ayyub, and our fathers, the Bishop of David and of Karas, and for our Orthodox bishops. Lord have mercy. And those who rise.
greatly under the word of truth with them. Grant them unto your church to shepherd your flock in peace. Remember all the Orthodox Egomans, priests, and the Econs. Pray for the Higamans, priests, deacons, subdeacons, and the seven orders of the Church of God. And all the servants who are in virginity and the purity of your faithful people, remember, O Lord, to have mercy upon us all. Have mercy upon us, O God, the Father, the Father, to the salvation of this your holy place and every place and every monastery of our Orthodox Fathers. Pray for the salvation of the world and of the city of ours and of all cities, districts, islands, and monasteries. Lord, have Who the word there in God feels graciously accord, O Lord, to bless the air of the heaven, the fruits of the earth, the water of the rivers, the seed there in the plant of the field this year. Pray for the air of heaven, the fruits of the earth, the rising of the waters of the rivers, the seeds, the herbs, and the plants of the field. That Christ our God may bless them, have compassion on his creation which his hands have made, and forgive us our sins. Lord have mercy, Lord have mercy, Lord have mercy. Praise them to their Measure according to your grace, give joy to the face of the earth. May its furrows be abundantly watered, and its fruits be plentiful, prepared for sowing and harvesting. Manage our lives as deemed fit. Bless the crown of the year with your goodness. For the sake of the poor of your people, the widow, the orphan, the traveler, the stranger, and for the sake of us all who entreat you and seek your holy name. For the eyes of everyone wait upon you, for you give them their food in the seas and deal with us according to your goodness, O you who gives food to all flesh. Fill our hearts with joy and gladness that we too having sufficiency in everything always may abound in every good deed. Lord, have mercy. Remember, O oh Lord, those who are brought to you these gifts, those on whose behalf they have been brought, and those by whom they have been brought. Give them all the heavenly reward. Pray for these holy and precious gifts, our sacrifices, and those who have brought them. Lord, have mercy. 
As the O Lord is the command of your only begotten Son that we share in the commemoration of your saints. Graciously accord, O Lord, to remember all the saints who have pleased you since the beginning. Our holy fathers, the patriarchs, the prophets, the apostles, the preachers, the evangelists, the martyrs, the confessors, and all the spirits of the righteous perfected in the faith. Most of all, the pure, full of glory, ever virgin May, holy Toyotokos, Saint Mary, who truly gave birth to God the Logos, and Saint John the forerunner Baptist and martyr, Saint Stephen the archdeacon and proto-martyr, the beholder of God, the evangelist Mark, holy apostle and martyr, Saint Stephen the archdeacon, And Martin the Patriarch, Saint Severius, our teachers, the Scoros, Saint Athanasius, the Apostolic, Saint Peter, the Holy Martyr and the High Priest, Saint John Chrysostom, Saint Theodosius, Saint Theophilus, Saint Demetrius, Saint Cyril, Saint Basil, Saint Gregory the Theologian, Saint Gregory the Wonder One Worker, Saint Gregory the Armenian, the 318 assembled at Nicaea, the 150 at Constantinople, and the 200 at Ephesus, our righteous father, the great Abba Antony, the righteous Abba Paul, the three saints Abba Macari and all their children, the cross bearers, our father, Bajan the Hegomen, our righteous father, Abba Bishoy, the perfect man, the beloved of our good Savior. Our father, Abba Paul, of Thomas and Ezekiel, his disciple, my Lord, the Roman father, Saint Maximus Adomitius, the 49 martyrs, the elders of Shehid, the strong saints, Abba Moses, Jean Camé, the priest, our father, Abba Daniel, the Hegomen, our father, Abba Isidore, the priest, our father, Abba Bacom, of the Corinia, and Theodore, his disciple, our father Abba Shinute, the Archimandrit, and Abba Wisa, his disciples, and all the choir of your saints, through whose prayers and supplications have mercy, on us all. Save us for the sake of your holy name, which is called upon us. Let those who read recite the names of our holy fathers, the patriarchs who have fallen asleep, O Lord, repose their souls and forgive us our sins. May their holy blessings be with us. Lord, have
Those, O oh Lord, those souls you have taken, repose them in the paradise of joy, in the region of living forever, in the heavenly Jerusalem, in that place. And we too are sojourners in this place. Keep us in your faith and grant us your peace unto the end. throughout the way into your kingdom that at this also all things your great and holy name be glorified blessed and exalted in everything honored and blessed with Jesus Christ your beloved son and the Holy Spirit peace be with all and with your spirit Again, let us give thanks to God, the Pantocrator, the Father of our Lord God and Savior, Jesus Christ. For he has now made us worthy now to stand in this holy place, to lift up our hands to serve his holy name. Let us also ask him to make us worthy of the communion and partake of his divine and immortal mysteries. Precious blood and your precious blood of his Christ the Pandukrator, the Lord, our God. Amen, Amen. away the sins of the world is with us today on this table who is seated on the throne of his glory and before whom stand all the heavenly orders whom the angels praise with the voices of blessing and before whom the archangel fall down and worship the four incorporeal living creatures in the hymn of the Trisagion and the twenty-four presbyters are seated on their thrones with twenty-four golden crowns upon their heads. 
and in their hands twenty-four golden bowls full of incense, which are the prayers of the saints. They fall down before him who lives forever and ever. And the 144,000 undefiled virgins praise the o Lord, saying, Holy, 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 Amen, Alleluia. And we also worship the Holy Trinity, praising Him, saying, Holy is the God, the Father, the Pandukurator, Amen, Alleluia. Holy is His only begotten Son, Jesus Christ, our Lord. Amen. Alleluia. Holy is the Holy Spirit, the Paraclete. Amen. Alleluia. His only holy and full of glory is the Theotokos Saint Mary the Virgin. Amen. Alleluia. Holy and full of glory is the sacrifice which has been slain for the life of the whole world. Amen. Alleluia. Therefore, our good Savior proclaimed, saying, My body is food indeed. And my blood is drink indeed. He who eats my body and drinks my blood dwells in me and I in We ask you, our Master, purify our souls, bodies, and spirits, so that with a pure heart, cleansed lips, an enlightened soul, an unashamed face, a faith unfeigned, a pure conscience, and a perfect patience, and a firm hope, we may dare with boldness, without fear, to pray to you, O God, the Holy Father, who is in the heavens, and say, Our Father.
bread, and give us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from the evil one. Thine is the kingdom, the power, the glory, forever, ever, and ever. In Christ, Jesus, our precious blood of Jesus Christ, the Son of our God. Amen. Amen. Holy and precious body and blood of Jesus Christ, the Son of our God. Amen. Amen. The body Of Emmanuel, our God, this is so in truth. Amen. Amen. I be Amen. 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 
Amen. I believe, I believe, I believe and confess to the last breath that this is the life-giving flesh that your only begotten Son, our Lord God and Savior, Jesus Christ, took from our Lady, the Lady of us all, the Holy Theotokos, St. Mary. He made it one with his divinity without mingling, without confusion, and without alteration. He confessed the good confession before Pontius Pilate. He gave it up for us upon the holy wood of the cross of his own will for us all. Truly I believe that his divinity parted not from his humanity. For a single moment, nor twinkling of an eye, given for us for salvation, remission of sins, and eternal light to those who partake of it. I believe, I believe, I believe that this is so in truth. Amen. Amen, amen, amen. I believe, I believe, I believe that this is so in truth. Amen. Pray for us and for all Christians who so add to us concerning them. Remember us in the house of the Lord. The peace and love of Jesus Christ be with you all. Sing Alleluia. Pray for the worthy partaking of the Immaculate Heavenly and Holy Mysteries. Lord have mercy.
Teoben shoy sinzos bechrefos. May the love of God the Father and the grace of His only begotten Son, our Lord Jesus Christ, the gift and the fellowship of the Holy Spirit be with you. Go in peace. May the peace of God be with you. Also with your spirit.